Okay, so in this video I'm going to do a quick demonstration of Freestyle Dash 2.0 RC1 and if you're not familiar with Freestyle Dash it's basically a homebrew version of NXE for people with JTAG hacked 360s to use. So as you can see here I'm in my regular Connect Dash or Connect Style Dash and my avatar there recently played games. So if I just go over to my game library and go over to my game demos and trials you'll see that I've already created a quick boot icon for Freestyle Dash at the top there and basically what that allowed me to do is boot into Freestyle Dash from my regular NXE Dash my Connect Dash so just select to play the game and I've also got my external hard drive uh, connected up to the 360 as well So that's the Freestyle Dash loaded into it now, and as you can see, it's based on the original NXE Dash. So you've got your channels and your tab layout. And you can see you've got the, the avatar there, he's a wee bit shorter and a wee bit faster, just like the original NXE. You've also got your tabs, these are slightly different from the original, you've got different options on them. So you've got your Xbox 360 games, your Xbox Live Arcade, Homebrew, Xbox Classics and emulators. But I'll go over them in a wee bit more detail later in the video. So for now I'll just do a quick kind of tour of the dash. So you go up a channel and you've got X-Link and X-Link is basically like a free version of Xbox Live for people with JTAG hat 360s. You can go up again and you're going to see there's a plug-in channel. At the moment the dashboard's in, it's basically in a beta at the moment so you don't really have any plugins available but when they are available you'll be able to select them from that channel there. Then you've got the utilities channel and this is probably the best thing about this dash and you've got a load of different options so at the very end here you've got your credits obviously for the freestyle dash team you've got the skins and i'll go into detail in a minute about that you've got your file manager copy dvd and your settings so go into the settings tab here and you're presented with a load of different options you can you can adjust so here you can adjust whether you want to display your avatar on the main menu, you can display the temperature in Celsius, you can choose to have the clock sync up when you start the console, and enable automatic updates and that kind of thing. You can check manually for updates like this. No updates, so not a big deal. You can clear data, default settings, then you've got the likes of how you're going to display your game library, you can choose your marketplace locale, manage game paths, and all that kind of good stuff. Here you can adjust like your date format, your time format and you can also adjust the overscan of the screen. So you've got your vertical, you can move that back and forwards and you've also got your horizontal as well. So going down you've got the fan speed so you can adjust that on the fly. You can adjust that 100% you can actually go down to zero and it would just be auto basically, but I like to have mine set at about 50 to 60. And then at the end there you've got more X-Link settings. So we just come out of that and then we've got the copy DVD. So you can basically copy a game from the DVD drive onto like an external hard drive if you want. Moving along you've got file manager and basically it's just a, a file manager. You can move, rename, delete, make directories and just do general kind of file management type things in there. You can also FTP into the console when it's in Freestyle Dash as well. So you can move files from your PC over to your 360 hard drive or any other device that's connected up to it. Then you've got your skins tab and this is probably my favourite out of all of them on the, uh, the Freestyle Dash. So here you can adjust and basically customise your skin and what you can do is like change things like the animations in the background. You can have the orb in the bottom right on and off if you want. I like to have it off, so I turn it off. You can randomize it and do that kind of stuff with it. Then you've got like the wallpaper at the back there. You can choose a, a different one. So I'm just going to choose to have the cloudy day one, which is this one here. That's pretty good. Then you can choose the stage, and the stage is a thing at the front there. So you can have NXE light or meadow. I'm going to have the meadow in mine. And then if you hit Y, you can basically adjust all the tabs and the, 
the font like this. So you can change the background color. You can change the icon color. You can change the text color and you can change the reflection color as well. So I'm just going to go ahead here and change this to I have blue. And I change the icon color as well. So just maybe make that orange. Like so just leave the text and I'll change the reflection colour to blue as well to match the tab. And then you can preview it. And then if you're happy with that, you can apply to dash by hitting yellow and it will change all of them to the same colour. And then to save it, you just press start and we'll save it to your settings. Hit X again and then you're going to save the, the background and the, the wallpaper as well. And there you go. So you've got a fully customised dashboard there. The other great thing about having the freestyle dash is you can store your games on your external hard drive and play them directly from that. And the library feature basically allows you to view all your games in a nice kind of cover flow like this. So you can browse your, your games by the cover and these are all the games that I've got on my hard drive right now. So we'll just go along. And if you want more info on a game, what you can do is if you push down on the left stick, you can bring up the developer name, the rating of the game, and then if you hit down again, you can bring up some screenshots as well. If you want more information than that, you can hit yellow, or hit the, the Y button even, and you can bring up some screenshots, like so and you can browse the screenshots from the game. If you want more settings, you can adjust things. Well, you can view your game saves and your achievements. You can re-download content and manage your, your title updates as well. So it's a really, really handy thing to have. You just browse through your games here. And you'll get the new cover art as you you browse through them. So it's basically the same for your Xbox Live arcade games as well. And it's the same kind of cover flow idea. Hit down on the, the stick and you can bring up your screenshots and that kind of info in the game. And again it's the same for Homebrew and your Xbox Classic and Emulators tab. Another really nice feature of the Freestyle Dash is if you click the right thumbstick, you can bring up some more information on the screen. So if we go ahead and click that, it'll bring up a bar at the top and the bottom of the screen, and it'll display some extra information about the console. So on the top left, you're going to have your temperatures, and it's going to show you the likes of your CPU, your GPU, your memory, and your case temperatures. Then at your top right, you've got your storage, your hard drive, and then the bottom left you've got your IP address and your network activity status. And then at the bottom right you've got your, your time and date. So you can toggle these on and off just by clipping, clicking the, the right thumbstick. And I like to have mine off so I'll just keep it off for now. Also another nice thing is if you click the left thumbstick you can take a screenshot of your dashboard. So I've just taken a shot there and I'll actually use that shot for the thumbnail for this video. But overall that's that's a kind of quick demo and quick tour of the Freestyle Dash. So anytime you want you can always go back to your regular connect dash and you just need to hit your guide button. So go ahead and click guide button choose Xbox Dashboard and it'll load back into the Connect Dash and there uh, you can see I'm back at the regular dashboard with the longer, taller, weirder looking avatar. So yeah, that's Freestyle Dash. It's only for JTAG hacked 360s so you need to have a JTAG hacked console for this to work but yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.